so I already discussed in RC series is circuit the complete behavior and phenomena why it is minus VC okay so you may take help from the previous videos I uploaded upon RC series AC circuit and or L series AC circuit okay so according to the above phasor diagram OA represents the voltage drop across R is V R is equal to I R and it is in phase with the current I V R is in phase with current I and it is represented by O A okay so or this is the A this is the starting point O so it represents the voltage drop across resistor R and it is in phase with current I okay similarly also it is clear from above figure that VL leads the current by 90 degree and the voltage drop across inductor R is inductor L is VL is equal to IXL and its magnitude and direction is represented by A B okay A B this is the A B A and B similarly the voltage drop across capacitance C is VC is equal to IXC and its magnitude and direction 
is represented by by mu c whereas the negative sign shows that current is leading the voltage by 90 degree okay so we represent it as a represented by vc and it direction is a c okay this is the point a c now thus from above phasor diagram it is also clear that VL is in phase opposite to V C because V L and V C are in phase but in opposite direction okay V L starts from A to B and V C starts from A to C okay thus so it means that the circuit or lc can be either inductive ac circuit or capacitive ac circuit depending upon the predomination predominant predominant factor of either VC or VL voltage drop across capacitor C or voltage drop across capacitance uh, inductance L okay so if we want so we can write it as if we want to find out the applied voltage V so this side can also be written as VL minus V C because okay VL minus V C it is because of the fact that in this case because of the fact that in this case the predominant factor is dominant factor is VL i.e. it means that VL is greater than VC 
so that the net voltage drop across LC combination is VL minus VC. This is the reason and is represented by represented by a V okay this is the predominant factor is VL so we represent it as a into B okay So the applied voltage applied voltage V is the phasor sum of VR and VL minus VC and is represented by OB. Okay, this is represented by. B okay this is OA this is A B So, in order to find out the mathematical formula for voltage, current and power, we discuss further. Okay. And the most important thing is that this is the phase angle phi. So, don't forget to mention it here. Now we discuss this is the phase angle phi. So this is the phasor diagram explanation. Now we have to find out the mathematical formula for voltage current and power. So first, 